Hey, Plumber Tom here. If you're preparing for a plumbing state test or trying to improve your knowledge of code and understanding of plumbing, don't forget to check in the description below for links to study guides, online courses, and other resources that will help you to learn the code and pass your test. When you click on those links and purchase resources, you're helping me to be able to create more great content. Thanks for watching. Hello, welcome to lesson three. I am Plumber Tom, and in this lesson, we are going to continue to explore the possibilities for wet venting. We're going to focus on horizontal wet vents. In lesson two, we looked at vertical wet vents. Now we're going to see what we can accomplish if we're able to use drainage pipe as a vent when it's a horizontal branch. Let's check it out. Quick review of important venting principles. First of all, you'll remember that in order for drainage to flow inside of the pipe, it has to have enough airflow inside of there. So we're going to continue with that principle, making sure that as we install these wet vent systems, there's going to be adequate airflow. At the end of this lesson, we're going to look at the wet vent sizing table that helps us to make sure our sizes are appropriate and would leave enough airflow. So stay tuned to the end. Similar to lesson two, what we're going to do here in lesson three is we're going to examine the basic requirements for horizontal wet venting from the International Plumbing Code. Then we will look at it from the angle of the Uniform Plumbing Code. There's a little bit of difference, so we'll note that. Then we'll go on and look at examples of how we might use horizontal wet venting. You'll see a plan view of a bathroom group, and then we'll bring in the pipes and you'll be able to see an isometric drawing of how we might pipe that. Please keep in mind that there are a lot of ways that you can pipe it. That would depend on the approach. If the pipe's coming from one side or another, if we're coming through the joists from a certain angle, those are things that would affect how we lay this out. But by the time you're done here, you'll understand the principles that will help you so that when you're out there trying to decide how to put this together, you'll have the tools needed to create your own systems. Let's examine the principles for wet venting from the International Plumbing Code. This would be section 912 on wet venting and particularly we're looking at the horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle one. A wet vent can serve up to two bathroom groups. Please remember that this limits the bathroom groups to bathroom group fixtures only. Horizontal wet vent principle two. Drain is also considered a vent from the dry vent connection to the most downstream fixture drain connection. Once again, this means that the drain pipe is being used as a vent all the way down, that's through the horizontal branch, to the last fixture connected in that horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle three. All fixtures connected to the wet vent must be on the same floor level, same as with vertical wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle four. Each fixture must connect independently to the wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle five. Only fixtures within the bathroom group are allowed to be connected to the wet vent. Let's have another quick look at the definition of that. International Plumbing Code chapter two definitions bathroom group states that a bathroom group is a group of fixtures consisting of a water closet, lavatory, bathtub, or shower, including or excluding bidet and emergency floor drain or both. Such fixtures are located together on the same floor level. Once again, we would only be connecting bathroom group fixtures to the horizontal wet vent. That would exclude a nearby laundry sink, washer connection, kitchen sinks, anything else like that. We're gonna pipe around the bathroom group so that it does not interfere with our horizontal wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle six. Any additional fixtures are to connect downstream from the wet vented bathroom group. And horizontal wet vent principle seven. An emergency floor drain vent cannot serve as a wet vent for a bathroom group. This is because an emergency floor drain would rarely be receiving fluids, and the point of a wet vent is that it would occasionally be washed through. A vent for an emergency floor drain that does not have a consistent flow could become blocked over time as drain scum or whatever else builds up inside of there. All right, let's go over to the Uniform Plumbing Code and look at what they have for wet venting. This is in section 908, Horizontal Wet Vent Principle 1. All wet vented fixtures must be on the same floor level. 
horizontal wet vent principle two. The wet vent is to be vented by one or two vented lavatories. So we're kind of focusing on using a lavatory to wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle three. Only one fixture drain can discharge upstream from the dry vent fixture connection. This is similar to what we see in International Plumbing Code, just worded differently, but basically every fixture has to have an individual connection to the wet vent. Horizontal wet vent principle four. Water closet fixture drain shall be downstream from the fixture drain for the horizontal wet vent. This specifies that the toilet cannot be upstream from the wet vent, it can only be down past the lavatory. And finally, horizontal wet vent principle five. Only fixtures within the bathroom group are allowed to be connected to a wet vent. There is a lot more to know and to understand about horizontal wet venting. In this video, we've gone over the basic principles that come from the International Plumbing Code as well as the Uniform Plumbing Code. We're gonna break this up into three sections focusing on horizontal wet vents. So in the next video, we'll look at specific examples of wet vents that will help you to see how you can run the pipes given a certain layout for the fixtures. In the third video, we'll look over violations or common mistakes that people make when they're trying to install wet venting systems. By the time you've gone through all three of these videos on horizontal wet vents, you're gonna be really knowledgeable about how these go together and how you can use them in your daily work as a plumber. I'll see you in the next one.